This is the JM Go N1 Ultra, and it's unlike any other projector that I've seen before. It's the world's first tricolor gimbal laser projector that produces an outstanding 4K picture, so much so that it's really made me wonder if it's even worth buying a TV anymore. The N1 Ultra is leaps and bounds ahead of most other projectors. A bunch of the setup and adjustments are all automated. It's super easy to use, and it just really simplifies not only how you can use it, but where you can use it as well. Today, I want to dig into this product and go over not only how this produces such a stunning image, but some of the features and innovation that sit outside of it. So if you're in the market for a TV or a projector, you're going to want to stick around for this one. So with that said, let's get into it. Hey everyone, Kyle Erickson here. Last month, right before I took a break for Christmas, JM Go reached out to me and wanted to sponsor a video featuring their N1 Ultra projector. And I've honestly always wanted to check one of these out so i said sure send one out and we'll see what this thing can do and man i've been blown away by it i've used projectors in the past and it's always been cool to see a video blown up to a giant size but it usually always comes at the expense of picture quality with the n1 ultra that's no longer the case the picture that you get out of here is just as good if not better than a lot of tvs i was shocked when i first turned this thing on just how vivid and sharp the picture was i was sending pictures to people of the projected image and they thought that i had some kind of wall tv or something and actually didn't believe it was a projector and that has a lot to do with the laser optics in here but before we get too far into that I want to back up and talk about the design and the build of this thing because there's a lot to like there as well. The N1 Ultra has a sleek modern look to it and it's fairly compact at 9.48 inches wide and 7.99 inches tall. That makes it relatively portable and easy to pack around. There is a bit of weight to it coming in at around 10 pounds or so but that actually anchors it quite nicely to whatever surface that it's placed on. On the back you'll find four ports. There's two HDMI ports with HDMI 2.1 and eARC if you want to export full resolution audio. There's also a headphone jack and a USB port for hooking up external storage. This has what JM Go calls an integrated gimbal design where it's able to make 360 degree horizontal and 135 degree vertical rotational adjustments, which gives you a number of possibilities in where you're able to project the image. I can put this on a table or a desk and shine it against a wall or the ceiling and it just makes it a little bit easier to place and just adds to the overall versatility. The frame of the stand is metal and it feels very sturdy and in general it just feels like a very well built piece of hardware. Now the gimbal design is great but part of what makes it so unique is how the hardware works with the software when you're projecting the image. On older projectors there was always a lot of manual adjustment necessary to get the image that you wanted whether that be dialing in the focus or a particular position but with a free rotation of the N1 Ultra and the algorithms used within the software will actually automatically adjust the picture and focus it without you having to touch anything, which is a huge time saver. It also has smart eye protection if someone walks in front of the projector where it'll dim the image so you don't get blasted by the lens, and it's just very well thought out in that regard. Speaking of the software, this runs on Android TV 11, so if any of you have used Android or Google TV, the dashboard will feel very familiar to you. You've got access to pretty much any of the streaming apps that you'd expect, and there's also built-in Wi-Fi. 6, so everything you need is basically here. The remote that comes with it is a simple design that's very similar to a Roku or Apple TV remote. You've got your standard navigation wheel and buttons with volume controls, there's menu and settings buttons, and you've also got a Google Assistant button if you like using voice commands. If Android TV just isn't your jam, you can also hook up your Apple TV or whatever other device that you might want to, like a PlayStation or an Xbox through HDMI. And with whatever you choose, the image the N1 Ultra produces is outstanding. Everything is very sharp and clear, and you get a 1600 to 1 contrast ratio, which is very good, and it does outperform a lot of TV and monitor panels. If you've been around on the channel before, you'll know that when I talk about TVs and monitors specifically, a good IPS panel is usually between 1000 and 1200 to 1, so... This sitting at 1600 to 1 is pretty incredible, and there's a bunch of other fantastic display specs. You've got 110% BT 2020 wide color gamut and HDR10 with a delta E value less than 1. That just means that you've got good dynamic color range and it's also very accurate. And it gets extremely bright as well with 2200 CVIA lumens. That's all made possible by the Microstructure Adaptive Laser Control or MALC Triple Lens Color Laser Optics. 
I know that's a bit of a mouthful, but essentially this means you've got a laser for each of the primary colors that sit within an image. And those colors are produced directly from the laser where other laser projectors are not. A standard single beam laser projector needs to be filtered through a color wheel, which makes it less color accurate with worse contrast. And they produce things like blue light where the triple color laser in here has zero harmful blue light emission. So the tech in the N1 Ultra is just a lot better overall. I've been asked a few times from folks who have seen me using this if it needs to be used in dark areas at all times, and that's not the case. I do like to use this in my basement most of the time, but I can bring this up onto the main floor into lighter areas and see everything just fine, no problem. I personally like to use this for sports a lot, especially when I'm watching football and there's multiple games on. I can have a split screen enabled and have four games on the screen at once. I can do that on my TV as well, but the picture just feels a little bit too small where the N1 Ultra is much bigger and more enjoyable. Gaming is also fantastic on this projector and feels very immersive. One thing that I was kind of shocked with was how good the audio is coming out of here. This has two 10 watt speakers that were co-created with Dyna Audio that have an advertised 45 hertz low frequency bass response. And I find them to be very full sounding and they get quite loud as well. And like I said earlier, if you don't want to use those and you want to hook up your N1 Ultra to an external audio source, you can do that via HDMI eARC or through the 3.5 millimeter audio output. That makes this extremely versatile, not only with your video, but your audio as well. And I think that's probably the thing that has surprised me the most about this projector. It's just so simple to use and you can use this pretty much anywhere and use it in so many different ways. You can literally just plug this in and point it at the wall or the ceiling or whatever surface that you'd like and you're pretty much good to go where historically with projectors they've been much more of a hassle not only with hooking everything up and dialing in your settings but making sure they're in the right setting as well and I think going forward in a lot of instances I'd probably consider buying one of these versus a new TV. I am going to drop a link down below to this unit if you guys want to check it out but I would love to hear from everyone else on this. Are laser projectors like this on your radar or would you ever consider picking one of these up? Let me know in the comments down below and any neat use cases you can think of that you might use one of these for. I'm super interested to hear some new ideas that I can explore for this. That's all from me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to hit that like button. If you want to see more tech related content or just be my friend, please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next upload.